Welcome to uh, Keto Decoded. Uh, this is my uh, channel on health. So I've got Jitin here, and he has a lot of questions on health. What's up? Uh, so. How can people stay motivated to be healthy? And what do they do when they lost the motivation? That's a difficult one uh, because <laughs> most of the health problems are in the mind. Um, all you got to, the way I try to remember, well, for me, it's quite easy because I went through a lot of pain because my health has suffered massively. And so for me to stay motivated to be healthy is really easy because I do not want to end up back there again. Mm. So I've now gone through a lot of pain, a lot of hell. And because of that, I am very motivated to be healthy because I don't want to get end up there. But if you've never lost your health mm -hmm. to be healthy, I don't know. Uh, I don't know the answer to that. It's um, like what would the only thing that motivates human beings, as far as I know, is pain. Mm. And when you feel pain, you are like, okay, I need to do something. Yeah. And if I, if you feel pain, like if if you're pushing against me, let's say, and there's a there's a there's a like a nail here, mm -hmm. and that's digging into you. Yeah. Then you 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 feel that. And you'll be like, oh, I shouldn't push here. Right. But right. if there's no pain, yeah. because that's that's pain, right? But a lot pain of people is, yeah. still still feel pain. Yeah, and they and still, still like eat shit. Yeah, because you know? they don't know because they they don't know that their pain is being caused by the shit food. Like right. for example, shit food affects your mood as well. Mm -hmm. It affects how, if you're happy or not. Yeah. So if you're eating crap food and you're feeling depressed and negative and the anxiety, most of the time you don't know those are caused by that food. You don't have that association because it could be the next day is causing it. Yeah. Like because I'm, I'm very clean eating and, but if I eat some crap, yeah. I know about it. Yeah. yeah you know, yeah. the next day I feel shit. Will... My, not just my body, right. my, my mind. Right. Like sometimes I'll have anxiety. I'll be feeling shitty. I'll be, be triggered quite easily. Yeah. Um, and I'm like, why am I being triggered? And my mind will be racing about all kinds of bitchy things that like my mind's thinking. Yeah. And I'm like, my mind doesn't normally do and that. It's coming from eating bad food. Yes, okay. that's right. Yeah, if I eat crap food today, yeah. tomorrow I, I could have negative thoughts, all kinds of stuff in my head. Yeah. And I'm like, and then I, I'll catch myself after a while. Okay. And why am I feeling so yeah. negative? Why am I bitching about, oh, what? I hate that guy. Yeah. You know, like, and I'm like, why am I doing that? Right, you know? right, right. And then I remember that. But is that just purely for the food? Well, no, it's not just food, but for me, yeah. uh, because... Does I'm... it bring out like unnecessarily like negative thoughts? So... Or is that part and parcel of just sometimes how the mind is as well? Yeah, so it, it, it's, it's a bit of both. Okay. Um, the, yeah. food, the food will affect it. Yeah. I know I definitely feel it in my body. Yeah, yeah. If I eat, if I eat uh, like a kebab with you, or whatever, or we go to KFC. Yeah. I see KFC at the bottom of the rung, even yeah. lower than Greg's. Um, I, I know the next day uh, my mind will start doing this. Right. It'll, I okay. won't be able to meditate, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, right. right? And also it's difficult to sit as well with heavy food. Yes, that's you know? right. Well, for, you know, like for example, let's say you smoke, right? right? I don't. No, you don't. Yeah. It doesn't smoke. But let's say you smoke, yeah. right? And you walked in a smoke-full room. You won't even notice it, right? No, because I you don't. smoke. Oh, right, if I yeah. smoked, yeah. Let's say yeah, you yeah, smoked yeah, 20 cigarettes yeah. today and you walk yeah. into a smoke, no, no. you'll be like, yeah, it's a bit smoky in here. Yeah, but like, but yeah. Then, then you got somebody else, he doesn't smoke, mm -hmm. and he walks into a smoke-filled room, he'll be coughing and spluttering yeah. and all that like stuff, it. right? Yeah. That's because one person's body used to the, the, the toxins, right, right, right? 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 And the right. other person's is really clean, and yeah. so their body isn't used to it, so it's just a slight amount of toxins. Uh, has an effect on them. Yeah. And it's like that. Mm. Right? That's so, a good line. Yeah. Used to the toxins. It becomes normalized. Yeah, it becomes normalized. That's yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, let, let's say your body's not well and you're, you're you know, you don't feel good, your energy's low. Yeah. Um, you, you, you get used to that. Right. And so, and then you're walking around like this, um, walking slowly, yeah. and you're thinking, well, that's normal. Yeah. But then somebody else is just walking, running around and yeah. everything. And if, the, if that person running around damages themselves in some way and maybe let's say bad food or whatever, yeah. and then the next day they're walking around slowly, they're going to notice, oh, oh no, hang on a minute, I'm normally running around. So it could be built up after years. Decades. Decades. Decades, yeah. Right. And then, then, then you have that realization like... And, and the problem is because it takes, it takes decades to damage your body, it happens really slowly. And so you don't realize you're damaging yourself. You know, like it's that frog. Uh, if you take a frog 
and slowly boil the water, the frog doesn't realize you boil the water, right. and so it, it dies. Right. But if you put the frog into boiling water, yeah. it will jump out straight away. Yeah. yeah. So it's like that. Wow. That's, uh, yeah. Mm. Um, yeah, I think I was asking that question for people, like I said, uh, you know, who might have just got used to, like normalized, not eating healthy. Yes. And I remember during the lockdown, I kind of got into a little bit of that, you know, and I found myself a bit sedentary, you know, it wasn't really moving much at all. Um, yeah, man, it was just, um, yeah, we're having a lot of takeout food. Yeah, takeout um, food is really bad. Yeah, just, uh, I know I would go out just probably in the evening and just like, just to go for a walk and then I'll just end up getting some food and bringing it back, you know? I did that for a while, to be honest. Yeah. So, and yeah. I enjoyed the food, but the thing is, I know that like, there was a point where I felt like, oh, I've got into a bit of a, a rigidity here. Huh? I've got into a bit of like, like, lack of uh, movement and it's like it's set into me that's how i felt you know? well for me during lockdown yeah um what i what i did was i just made sure there was no food in the fridge mm. or in the house for me yeah. and so what i would do i would go to the supermarket every day and get just enough for that one meal that day really that was it per meal per meal yeah Oh, so you just keep going out yeah but what oh, that was what, what else you what was you going to do during yeah. lockdown right yeah you needed well, as a man, I know I do. Mm -hmm. I need a reason to go out. Yeah, yeah. Right? So yeah, I'd be yeah, like, yeah. okay, yeah. I oh, I need to get today's meal. Right. And so I would then also so pick survival. a survival. Yeah. Yeah. So then I would also pick a Sainsbury or a supermarket yeah. that was miles away. Okay. So I'd have to maybe it's half oh. an hour, an hour away, yeah. right? So for me, it was my day out. Wow, that's a good discipline though. It's yeah, a good yeah, like, yeah, uh, yeah. Making yeah. yourself Yeah. Yeah. So it's like you burn the bridge. Yeah. Burn the boats. Well, there's no food, right? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. you know, you're going to, where yeah. are you going to get survival. it? Survival. Yeah. yeah. So survival. Yeah, yeah. But then also you could have been like, I'm just going to go to the one around the corner. Yeah. But you're like, no, I'm going to. I'm going to go miles away. Yeah. So I, I could be out all day yeah. looking for food. Wow. Because you, you're in lockdown. What else yeah. are you going to do, right? You can't just sit at home. I can't sit at home. I'm one of those people. Yeah, I just yeah. can't. Yeah. You took it back to caveman. Yeah. I went out uh, hunting for my yeah, food. Scavenging, right? but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Did you make sure you took your nectar card though, you know, to get the points? <laughs> you gotta go back home now. Yeah. A mile away. <laughs> Beep. <laughs> Beep. <laughs> um, right, what questions do you have on health? Is there ever a time in the future that imagine you started eating badly, right? And um, what what would you say to yourself if you could see yourself in the future and you're eating badly? You know, so I'm you know. I'm I've been keto for five to ten years. I'd yeah. say about seven years. Um, what would you say to yourself to help you get out of that and eat well? I I, can, I I cannot eat badly. Like I I can't do it. Yeah. Like I literally can't do it. Okay. Um, I am at the point where, for me to eat badly, yeah. you'd have to train me. Okay. You'd have to coach yeah. me. Yeah. Um, because you trained yourself, didn't you? Yeah, I trained myself to eat to eat healthy. Yeah. And now all I can do is do that. Okay, how long you know, did like, it take for you to eat years, healthy? Yeah. Years, because I grew up yeah. on Indian food. Okay. I grew up on fish and chips. Fish and I chips. grew up on pizza. Yeah. I grew up on kebabs. Yeah. I grew up on donuts. For, for how long? Most of my life. I'm 56, and I Whoa. didn't know, and I didn't know, what? I did not 56, know, you know, I did not know yeah. the difference between healthy and non-healthy food until I was at least 52, 53, 52, maybe. So it's been just the, the last several years, handful of years, but you look in great shape for that, man. Yeah. 56. I don't know you're 56, you know. Yeah, I know, right? I think you're 65. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm keto, no, no. man. This is keto, wow. keto power, yeah? That's amazing, yeah. man. Wow. So do you have pictures of yourself really yeah. big and everything? Before yeah, so I, so, so I, I love... Hair. Yeah, so, so I love taking pictures of myself now, right? right? But when I used to be...